Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today's video is all about my skincare routine. Well, my daytime skincare routine. So you've probably already seen my nighttime skincare routine. And so this routine for the day is a little more simplified. So if you've been following me here for a while, you'll know that I have oily skin and also major melasma. I've got pigmentation all over my face and I feel like you can probably see it today because I put on very minimal makeup because I knew that I was gonna be shooting a daytime skincare routine video, but also it is just super gloomy outside and it is not prime shooting time. So I just don't feel like I'm in the mood to shoot a ton but I have this one already on schedule in my content planner and we can't stop, but also this gives you a good chance to see what my skin truly looks like. So yeah, like I just mentioned, the skincare routine is more simplified compared to the nighttime skincare routine, which is more dedicated towards fighting that pigmentation and burning up those dark spots, just fighting that melasma overall, because as I've learned, the secret to looking youthful is to having even skin tone. It's been less than a week since I started incorporating hydroquinone. Well, it's a compound of hydroquinone, tretinoin, and some other ingredient um, that is supposed to help brighten up these dark spots. Okay, so let's begin with the first step. First, I need to reference what I shot for you guys. So let's begin with the first step. I wake up, I wash my face. If I didn't take a shower that morning, like if I showered the night before, then all I'm using is water to rinse my face. Maybe a little, a little uh, dot of moisturizer, not moisturizer, maybe a little dot of cleanser just to clean up my T-zone because that's the oiliest spots for me. Actually, my whole face is pretty oily. But in order to dry my face, I use a dedicated cloth. I don't think I have these in my nighttime skincare routine video, but I just started incorporating this into my routine maybe a day or two after I shot that because they finally got delivered from Amazon. So this was a 12 pack of facial towels. They're very soft and that's not like the microfiber cloth where it feels weird when you touch it, you know, on your fingers. If you know what I'm talking about, then you get that weird feeling, but but with this, you really don't get that. So it feels good on your hands and it feels good on your face because as I've learned, you should be using a new cloth to dry your face every day. It doesn't hurt to get a dedicated cloth for each day. So this was uh, super affordable from Amazon. They have different colors, blue, pink, maybe even purple, I don't know, but, but why not? So I have 12, so I will never be without a fresh face towel for a week. After I dry my face, I go in with the depuffer from Dr. Shireen Idris. This is a serum and it is supposed to prevent redness and just depuff your face. I can definitely tell a difference in how my face looks from the morning to the end of the day where I just look so incredibly puffy and then at the end of the day, I just feel a little more defined. So this is just meant to help me achieve that at a faster pace and also it just feels good. It really helps wake up my eyes and I kind of use this as a uh, little gua sha tool not exactly like a full gua sha because you want to be gentle right this isn't like an actual gua sha tool this is a roller ball so I squeeze a little bit of serum put it under both eyes turn it off because it lets you there is a definitely a switch you can see like on and off you can see that arrow hopefully you can and so I turn it off and then I just roll I'm not constantly going back and forth because in, when you're using a gua sha tool, you want to just kind of go like that. So that's what I do. I also bring it up here, do the forehead, and then I kind of do the rest of my cheeks here. And that really helps me wake up. I let that soak in on my face for a few minutes before I go on to the Major Fade Hyper Serum from Dr. Idri. So the first few steps all come, actually almost all of my skincare for the daytime con comes from Dr. Idris. So this, they're not prescription, they're actually now available at Sephora. So I really like how this looks. Packaging also beautiful. So the next few steps are actually very similar to my nighttime skincare routine because you can use them both day and night. It's not gonna make your skin too sensitive, at least not for me. I have normal to oily skin. Um, so I use this, I use three drops, same as my nighttime skincare routine. Let that soak in for a few minutes. And then I go in with the moisturizer from her. 
do maybe one and a half pumps or maybe one pump. I would say that I use a little bit less of this moisturizer for the daytime because I'm going to follow it up with a tinted moisturizer. Also, while I am getting ready for the day, I sometimes will put this over my lips, Aquaphor. I think this is the best thing for your lips. I love how it's super moisturizing, not sticky, and it is long lasting. This is just like a multi-purpose tool. I think you should have this in your skincare makeup collection because it is great for not only for tattoos, but also for any cuts, scrapes, and then chapstick. And all but one of my tinted moisturizers come with SPF and I have made it a point now to make sure that all of my sunscreen or tinted moisturizers with SPF include zinc and titanium. So I have this one from Elastin. It is about 9% titanium and about 4% zinc oxide. I say about because the titanium is 8.9 and the zinc is 3.4. This one from Smashbox gives you a nice glow and this also has titanium and zinc. So sometimes I will use this on its own and then sometimes I will use this on its own if I'm not looking for any type of glow. Like today, I put on just straight up sunscreen after my moisturizer. This one's from La Roche Posay. I really like this one. This is a mix of face and body. I feel like when you have a dedicated face sunscreen, it melts so nicely onto your face. This one melts too, but it's not as... Um, melty i don't know it doesn't glide over your face as easily as a fully dedicated face one so this is actually what i used on my face today and i followed it up with just a regular um tinted moisturizer and so if you're not using any type of sunscreen in your daytime routine i highly highly recommend you do also just make it a habit that's what i've done recently well recently within the last year or two and now when i don't put on any sunscreen i feel weird because they say it's easier to create a habit than break a habit and it is so true because i feel so weird if i miss that step and i'm like wait i can't go out i didn't put on sunscreen wait i can't go on a dog walk i need to put on at least powder sunscreen because something is better than nothing so as long as i make sure that all of my tinted moisturizers have spf i'm going to be set like i said i only have one tinted moisturizer that includes zero spf so even on no makeup days if i pick up one of my tinted moisturizers just to add a little bit of color so i don't look dead you know i'm still going to be protected and eventually the goal is to wear less and less makeup when I do achieve an even skin tone. And then literally all I will need is one of these and then I will be so set for success. I also want to reiterate something that I feel like I didn't really drive home in this video is that you want to make sure you give enough time for things to set in as you're applying all of your skincare steps. It's easier to follow that rule at night compared to my morning skincare routine when I am trying to rush for work. So one thing I try to do as I'm getting ready for work is I immediately make sure I am applying this depuffer. While that is soaking into my face, I am probably, you know, setting up my hair to get ready. The good thing though is that I don't have to give as much time for these to soak in to compare to when I'm applying my prescription creams for my dermatologist on my face. Like the hydroquinone, I wait over probably 10 minutes for that to fully soak in because I really, really want it to work. I want it to be efficient every time I use it. After I put on sunscreen, I let that soak in for a few minutes as well. And then I begin my makeup look for the day. I have a glowy makeup routine if you're interested in it. I will link it here below. Also add a little card right here so that you can easily click on it. But yeah, it's a pretty simple skincare routine. You don't want to add too much. You don't want to add anything major that's going to hurt your face because exfoliation should be at night. Sometimes I wish I was a dermatologist, but I also know I wouldn't pass all of those tests. I was just so bad at math. Science wasn't my best subject. Math was worse. It never would have worked out for me. Anyways, if you have any questions about anything you saw in this video, give me a comment down below and I will make sure to get to it as soon as I can. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. Bye.